the situation in uh, Rafa is extremely serious at the moment. Uh, there have been reports of hundreds of thousands of people leaving um, the immediate area uh, in, in just a matter of a few days. Uh, this has been very, very disruptive. And obviously there are consequences on the team on the ground. Our children's village in Rafa uh, has so far not been touched by the fighting, uh, but there are buildings, uh, quite a few of them, in surrounding areas that have been uh, touched by bombs and, and artillery. There's obviously trauma associated with this. The, the children have been traumatized by, uh, by the presence, the proximity of conflict. Um, and that's something that they're, that we're going to have to deal with. We have uh, sufficient water for about 10 days, and we're stockpiling uh, as we go. There is a plan to relocate uh, if conditions require, and uh, that's uh, we're getting very, very close to a decision uh, to, to move our, our people from the location. It's been a moment of, of inspiration for me to watch a very young team step up to the circumstances. The positivity and the calmness is is something that is infectious um, in ways that panic and, and negative emotions are. The team has been very positive and it's very clear from discussions with them that the children um, are encouraged and uh, are made to feel as safe as they can given this very difficult set of circumstances.